So welcome to the silo, which is in the middle of the BNA waterfront in Cape Town, surrounded by all this beauty of our sea, our coastline, and our wonderful Table Mountain. So I think it's very important to um, maintain the building to um, what it was first used for. So this was a grain silo and um, we've added, or our um, architect Thomas Heatherwick added these amazing windows to give this incredible view and we were lucky to have this huge height. But um, it's very important to maintain the integrity. So this piece of um, equipment belonged to the old um, silos and the grain used to come up from the trains down below and then it was brought up into this building and into this machinery and then it was stored in all the silos over there and we kept it just as a reminder of what this building used to be. Most of our furnishings have been made locally for us in Cape Town and we try to keep things um, African, but also provide the wonderful luxury that our guests enjoy. So we've chosen some animal prints, and this looks like a giraffe. And over there we have um, different bird patterns and put it all together to try and um, create an interesting, vibrant look. Well, I do love white and, and beige, and I always think my next place I'm going to do white, but it doesn't last long. <laughs> The old pieces and the, um, the piece of uh, machinery that's been left tells a story and I think it makes a room much more interesting to have some of the original pieces that were here. The waterfront wanted to do something philanthropic with the building that had become derelict and they decided an art museum would be a good idea. And then um, our hotel is in the lift shaft and um, we're above the uh, art museum. And um, I think we combine very well and we're all good friends. And... So all the art we've collected in the Silo Hotel is contemporary art and it's relevant to the museum that we are on top of. So this artist is a local artist in Cape Town. His name is Jody Paulson. And as you can see, the wonderful colors and it picks up all the colors of our furniture as well. So I love colour and can't resist it. And um, I chose all these um, lovely, happy colours. Um, and you know, if you put different colours together, they always work. I've never had any training, and so I'm not bound by rules. So you'll notice all over, there are many different colours put together that maybe most people would think you can't. People often ask me how I put a room together and it always just happens. I don't know, I've had no training whatsoever. And um, sometimes it's a carpet and I think, wow, that's a beautiful colour. And then I'll start collecting things around that colour. Sometimes it's a wonderful painting, other times it's a piece of fabric. So it just depends, it kind of happens. Nothing's very planned. Mm -hmm. 